Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to do some data conversions using QGIS. Uh, specifically, we're going to be looking at vector data. So uh, QGIS is a pretty awesome piece of software, um, but one thing it is particularly good at is converting between data types. So if you're a GIS user and you don't have QGIS on your machine, it's, not, it's, a, it's worth downloading just for that functionality. So what I have currently are some polygon vector data that are stored inside of a file geodatabase, so it's a feature class, and specifically they are um, uh, po polygons. And I'd like to convert them into a GeoJSON file for use on the web, for example. So to do that in QGIS, it's actually pretty simple. You just click on the layer, go to export, and then save feature as, and that opens the save vector layer tool. Um, note there's a ton of different formats here, so like SQLite, SpatialLite Database, GeoPackages, uh, GeoJSON, G GX, GPX Data, um, Shapefile, so on and so forth. So what we want to do is save to GeoJSON, and we want to specify a file name, so I'm going to dump this out on my data drive here. Let's we'll call it BFills GJSON. Save. And that automatically adds that uh, or as the correct extension there. Um, note that the projections in UTM 17 North NAT83 datum, which isn't great for like if we're going to use it on the web, but for this situation, this is good enough. So we're just going to leave it. And one thing I do want to change is the precision. So set to 15, so you're going to have a lot of decimal places. Remember, UTM is in meters, so you really don't need you know 15 decimal places if you're rounding to meters. Um, so we're just going to set this to four. So it's four values after the decimal. And we're going to have it calculate a bounding box extent. Um, and I think that's all we really need to do. You can specify the geometry type. I generally find that automatic works, but technically they're all polygons. So I'm just going to change it to polygon. Um, so we should be good. And I'm going to hit OK. And then it renders that out. And I'm just turn the original one off. So now we have a copy of the data in a GeoJSON format. And if we go into our file folder, we let's just open this. Let's do an open with. And let's open it with Notepad. Actually, that's probably going to be messy. WordPad, let's try that. Did not like that. Let me try it. Well, let's just try it with uh, Notepad again. Okay, so this is GeoJSON format. So basically, it's JavaScript object notation. Um, it's really too complicated because these are pretty complicated objects, but it stores all the attribute information and the geographic information and any metadata like the projection information all in this kind of text format. And again, the nice thing about it is it's GeoJSON, so it's JavaScript based, so it can be very useful for, um, for reading data and, and uh, visualizing data in a web environment like in a web map. 